What's up, God? This is Ashley, and I'm coming forward with a message for the Twin Flame Collective for August 6th. This reading is interesting to me um, because initially I wasn't pulling cards for the collective. I just pulled some cards to feel the energy, daily energy. I usually do some for myself and for others. But I, I'm spiritually, my spirit has led me to share this reading for the Twin Flame Collective because um, it's for more than just me or the masculine or feminine. This energy that I'm feeling is a masculine who has come to the realization that he wants to be with his feminine. And I'm saying his, but we know that we all have both energy. So, you know, forgive me for these gender preferences or these gender vernacular that I'm using. Um, take it as it resonates and take it as it resonates per your gender. If, if, it's, if it's, it's she, then it's a she, you know? But anyway, the first two cards that came out was, is Soul and Luma. First, we have the sun that came out, and right next to it was the moon. That's that's a pair. That's soul and Luna. So it's like your masculine sees you as their Luna. You know, their other half. They're the yin to their yang, the yang to their yin, the soul to their Luna, the Luna to their soul. So it's like a pair. This is the person I I pair with. We belong together. We we match each other. And we add to each other. This is the person that I want to be with. And this is clarified by Empress and the Four of Pentacles. This is how I know this message is coming from the masculine, a uh, masculine energy, because he sees the feminine and he wants to hold on to her. Again, excuse the gender, gender vernacular, but the masculine, this divine partner, he sees his feminine and he wants to hold on to her because you're soul and luna you belong together you're a pair and that's what it's supposed to be but and there is a but you know in these readings there's always a but right <laughs> but there's conflict and there's jealousy this masculine that i'm resonating with is not for the dramas you know save the drama for your mama type shit it's like he's not for the drama and the drama is a heavy burden on him. That's when this next trio comes into play. The first is the Seven of Wands. You two coming together, as you should be, it may cause some jealousy in the hearts of the people that you used to be with, um, people in your past, people who want to be with you now. There's just a lot of jealousy and fighting that comes along with you two coming together. It could be things that happened to you guys in the past that's causing this jealousy in other people's hearts. Or it could be the dynamic of the situation. It's several different scenarios. I won't just name them because we all have different ones. But the, the, mes the, the messages coming together causes jealousy and conflict. That's the second of this next trio. The Five of Wands. It causes jealousy and conflict in the hearts of other people. Um, you may not care how other people feel. He cares, though. This masculine is heavily burdened by the conflict and the jealousy. Again, he's not for the he's not for the negative energy. He's not for negative vibes, and he doesn't want to hurt anyone or cause conflict and jealousy in those that are around him or those that he loves or used to love or that's in his life. So the energy, I'm, I'm getting solitude for this masculine. And the next card we have is the death card. To clarify the death card, because I'm like, I felt oh, an end. So it's like, um, what I'm feeling from this death card is clearing things out or ending things and figuring out a way to new beginnings. Well, why is the masculine doing this? Why does the masculine feel like things have to end? Um, because he knows that new beginnings are with the feminine. Um, starts with the high priestess. Um, completion. Entering a new phase of life. Ten of Pentacles is fulfillment, happiness, new a new phase of life, basically. Entering and growing up and evolving celebrations three of cup coming together and celebrating an ace of swords 
Okay. All right. So, yeah, I'm picking up on the energy of those cards. Like, um, beautiful new beginnings from coming together with this feminine. However, to get there, another message that I'm getting from this is a breakup. He has to break up with somebody. Um, it could be a third party situation. I did not tell them to switch cameras. It could be a third party situation and the masculine knows that he has to break up. He has to break up with somebody. He has to clear it out. He has to clear his mind and clear his face in order to enter this new phase of life with the feminine, in order to get in tune with his higher intuition. But in order to, you see that B and that J? Oh my God, my mind just went to blowjob. I don't know why. I'm sorry. <laughs> but in order to get to new levels with the feminine, he has to break it off with his third party. So that third party situation has to end. In addition to that, these offers that maybe this masculine is like, you know, somebody is worth having. Um, perhaps he gets a lot of offers because after this breakup, it's like, and other people that are trying to come in, he's saying no to them too. So it's like, he's come to the conclusion, and I have the page of swords with it next as well. He's come to the conclusion, he comes to this idea that it's time for him to be single in order for him, and this is single, the next card we have is the five of coins. Um, it may be uh, burdensome, but this masculine is making a decision to be single because he's planning for the future with the feminine. Planning how he's going to reconcile with the feminine in a peaceful way. So it's like, how do I avoid this jealousy? How do I avoid this conflict that's burdening my heart? I know that it's time for me to enter a new phase of life and come together with the feminine to my Luna. You know, he's so, the feminine is Luna. It's like, I want to come together with Luna, my feminine. Um, but how can I do it in a peaceful way? How can I do it where it doesn't cause conflict, where it doesn't cause me burdens or him burdens, where it doesn't cause jealousy? I don't know that that's possible. I mean, in life, you know, when you break up with other people, when you move on, sometimes you just have to go through that energy. It's like, I don't know if you can avoid it. Sometimes people just have to go through that energy in order to move on and evolve. And eventually, time heals that wound. But I respect anybody who looks at the situation and tries to do it from a place of peace and figure out how they can or he can enter this new phase of life with his feminine without causing drama. Ace of Wands on the bottom of the deck. Right under that is the Three of Swords. Um, and Six of Coins, Balance. Three of Swords could be attuning to a season. Maybe he's planning to come together with the feminine during the fall. Um, or October Libra season or something like that. Ah, and also we have this Knight of Cups confirming an offer. Right under there is Two of Swords making a choice, making a decision. Um, as you know, the decision to come together with the feminine. Then I pulled some oracle cards just to give me, and this, this is what you see over here. I pulled some oracle cards just to get, you know, more information on this energy. I got the high priestess. I got the hermit. What is this telling me? High priestess and the hermit is a pair as well, both on the left side of the brain as taught in Kabbalah. Kabbalistic tarot. They're both on the left side of the brain. The high priestess listens and the hermit hears. Um, but they're a team. But um, compared with the rest of these oracle cards, we also have Broken Arrow, Embrace the Energy of Peace, and the Lord, Take Charge with Authority. And on the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight, Be Brave and Honest. Spirits, spirit fox under there, trust your talents, changing times, shift your perspective. Air guarding under that. But anyway, the night, be brave and honest. Okay, this is basically clarifying what we just heard. The masculine wants to come together with the feminine in a peaceful way. He's looking for peace. 
Um, but this card says you no longer have to defend yourself. You, this is saying the battle is won or the battle is over. You no longer have to de have to defeat your, um, defend yourself because the energy of peace is near. So it's like, how can I come together with my feminine in a peaceful way? How can I take charge of this situation with authority and rid myself and others of this negativity? Look at this. Look at him. Peaceful, right? Meditating. Inner peace and tranquility. It's like, how can we exist? How can I take charge of this situation in a way that brings peace to everybody? I can come together. I can be brave and honest about how I'm feeling about the feminine, how he's feeling about the feminine, um, and go after the things that I want, which is the feminine, but in a peaceful way, but in a peaceful way. So maybe he is meditating and going within to figure out um, during this period of solitude or during this period of being single in his life to figure out how can I come together with my feminine in a peaceful way that's going to be conducive to us entering a new phase of life and happiness and um, celebration. Yeah. Um, but this third party situation ended or is soon to end. There's a reason this reading came up. Spirit gave me this message for a reason. Soul and Luna is coming together. And if you don't understand Sol, S O L and L U N A, Soul and Luna, Soul and Luna, Soul and Luna, whatever, look it up. You know, Swim Flame, it's basically Swim Flame, it's a pair. Soul and Luna is coming together. But the masculine is taking charge of the situation, like masculines do, <laughs> and figuring a way to do it in peace. Beautiful reading, guys. Um, if you resonate, like, subscribe, comment, let me know how you feel. I wish you love, light, more life. Don't forget, check out my book, The Power of I Am. It's on Amazon and it's also in my, on my website. The link is in the description box. Um, it teaches about the twin flame relationship, the twin flame journey, unification of dualities of yourself as well, numerology, gematria, spirit messages. It's a dope read. It's 111 pages. It's two editions, but I'm not releasing the second edition until I can um, increase the moment for the f momentum for the first one. Thank you for buying my books. Thank you for buying readings. Thank you for watching, subscribing, and commenting. I wish you love life and more life. Peace. This would definitely like. Come to the edge, he said. We might fall, they said. Come to the edge, he said. It's too high, they said. Come to the edge, he said. They came, he pushed them, and they flew.